I'm looking for a screw for a Solomon boot. I don't know if you guys would have anything like that. What's up, squad? I uh, found that I was missing a screw in my boot. It fell out, so I got something sort of jerry-rigged yesterday, but I'm trying to find like the actual proper cuff screw. Kind of unfortunate, so I came by Christie Sports to see if they can help me out a little bit with the proper screw. The other shop put in like this washer thing, and I don't really want this in there if I can help it. It's a brand new boot, you know, so. I'm gonna see if they can replace it. Hello, hey, Tracy with the good heels on. So unfortunately, no luck with the screw from this big Christie Sports Center. Kind of find it odd that they wouldn't carry like extra parts, just if you sell Solomon boots. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I might just have to deal with it and address it when I get back to Utah, but yeah, kind of weird that places don't have it. Also weird that it fell out. Good morning, decisions. Hey, how you doing? Lovely, you? Great. Do you guys happen to have any Solomon uh, boot parts? I'm looking for a cuff screw. Well, we've got lots of boot parts. Yeah. I, I've been searching everywhere and they don't have that screw. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I'm right along with everyone else. We'll go to a Red Bull before I wash my face. I'm gonna need all the energy if I'm gonna see this day. Well, I appreciate you taking, I mean, come in, so. Yeah, hey, sorry I didn't have what no you needed. What's your name? I'm Jimbo. Jimbo, nice to meet you. All right, hey, thanks thank for coming you. in. I'm Lucas, yep, later. Yeah, take it easy, Kay. see you later. Well, I think that was our last, our last try. Jimbo was a very nice man to let me even come in. Just gonna have to go ski on it. Someone commented that the videos are getting repetitive. Um, and yeah, I agree. But there's like one run open, the same resort, same. I tried to even change up my walking pathways to make it look different. But what I was going to do today um, in response to that is film a Hero 12 versus GoPro Max video and kind of show the difference in the POV to maybe help you guys figure out which camera is better for you. But because it is so low vis today, snowing. I feel like it wasn't, wouldn't be the best day to do it. So to keep things interesting, I have decided to wear a new base layer. So hopefully this spice things up. My first time trying out this down insulator. It might be too warm, but it is definitely a little bit colder today. A bit more windy and also no sun. With having only shell jackets and whatnot, I don't have really any insulated part. So I picked this up as an insulative layer. So hopefully this keeps the videos new and interesting because variety is the spice of life. I think other than a Rockwell Basin opening day, this might be our first proper low vis day this year, but Stoke is high, vis is low ready to go i'm hoping the boot pulls together it'll be a good first test of it what can you do As always guys, there is more snow up here. The vis is lower and the stoke is even higher at the top. So I think we're gonna consider this a mini pow day. I mean, there's a good, I don't know, there's a good few inches on the railings up here. So see what we can get ourselves into. I think the question is, can we get the very first face shot of the year? I don't know, about to find out. All I gotta say is I love skiing. Yeehaw! This is very low, low visibility, but woo on the side there's still some fresh, some fresh, look at this, East Coast Pow Day, whoa, that's some pow right there, look at that guys, that is a powder day, should have brought the Stoke Elks, needed the 116s for today. We got some fresh snow.
Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. How we doing? You too. Telford on the follow cam. He was gracious enough. Uh, he chased me down. <laughs> now we're gonna do some skiing. So sick day. We got some fresh snow. Oh yeah. Boom. Good. You want to do silver spoon or do you want to do you like to stay? I find silver spoon's a little more flowy, a little okay. more fun. Yeah, so yeah. if you want to do like some wide cars yeah, on silver spoon, that. that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's usually emptier too than. Okay. Yeah, good point. Let's go over to the right side and then we'll just duck in. All right, sounds good. You good? Yep. That's rad. That's fun. <laughs> That's what it's like. Uh, sure. Are you? Yeah. Are you really? I'm Lucas. Dude, yeah, totally. Yeah. I know. What's up, man? Said, man. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Appreciate awesome. that. Well, I watch your videos all the time. Thank you, man. Even as a snowboarder, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I appreciate that. It has honestly been a super rad day out. It's been nice to honestly get some low vis conditions in, sort of get like the eyes adjusted and yeah, just ski in some, some lower light conditions, which has been a lot of fun. So it was cool to meet up with Nolan. He actually emailed me last year and kind of asked for film advice and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. He's an 18 year old kid. I kind of feel like it's my duty to at least instill some sort of wisdom or at least share my exper experience in life because I feel like life is hard, especially when you're that age. Lots going on, especially in this day and age. So for what that's worth, I'm gonna keep ripping because it's a good day out there. Just have fun.
Nolan actually hit me up last night. Um, said he wanted a sticker, asked if I could give it to him in person, all that sort of stuff. So he came back to the van. Um, Nolan, why don't you say a little bit about Gene Scares Association, what you do there. Give yourself a little plug with your TikTok. Oh, absolutely. All right, so for fun, I kind of started running a little TikTok account called the Gene Skiers Association. I mainly just post like ski memes and funny ski content. I love the sport. That's kind of what my goal is, just to share my love for the sport and how I, you know, just love connecting everything in life to it. Find a lot of humor in it too. Have fun with skiing. Skiing's for everyone. That's what it's all about, right? Oh yeah. These are sold out. So I have a few of these I can give you. Oh, dope. And I'll give you, I believe I can give you a few Lunas. Okay, I think I, I think I literally have one left. I mean, yeah, if that's cool with you, so you can go yeah, right yeah. on the helmet here. Absolutely. Then I'll also <laughs> give you a black one just so you have it. Sweet. There's a white and black one. There's a few Lunas. Oh, yeah. These are my GoPro selfies, so. GoPro. Dope. I yeah, appreciate man. it. Stoke squad all day. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Dude, it was cool ripping with you yeah, today. Yeah, um, I'm glad you had fun. Like I said, man, stay focused. Will do. Right? Will do. You're young, got a big future ahead of you. All right. And you're super talented, it. so. But you got to lock in. All right. For sure. Later, appreciate brother. Appreciate it. Thanks, Be safe Lucas. out there. Day number nine was super rad, and I think one of the things that I love the most about skiing is just you never really know what's gonna happen, what you're gonna get. So I wanted to go up because of like the fresh snow and like the whiteout conditions. Just was like a little something different, but then to sort of, you know, be able to meet up with someone like Nolan and just share the love for skiing together. Like just was a rad sort of unexpected day. And I'm just thankful that the boots stayed together and yeah, just, just a rad day to spend, a rad way to spend day number nine on the hill so it is wednesday which means we have our live stream tonight so with it getting dark so early i need to go find a spot to do that safely and securely so i'm gonna load up the twigs arv 106s and let's get out of here it is cold it is blustery it is snowy the star link up so we can live stream it is like five o'clock look how dark it is okay that should do its thing we should be live how's the boots the boots are way better guys boots are way better they're still like uh... They're, they're honestly way better. I would say they're almost like 100%. Well, that live stream was probably one of the best live streams I've had. I would like to say probably in a year since about last ski season. So I appreciate everyone who takes the time out of their Wednesday evening to hang out, share their knowledge, share their experience, and just make it an all around good time and help support the channel. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another day of skiing, day number nine in the books. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, fam. A lot of exciting things coming up. Peace out.